Hi everyone, it's Dr. Dave and welcome back to this Thursday's Medical Minute. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video this past Monday on a condition called sarcopenia. Sarcopenia, as you recall, is a lack of muscle mass. Why is that so important? So let's, let's review. One of the most important organs and one of the largest organs in our body is skeletal muscle. Why is skeletal muscle so important? Because skeletal muscle stores or disposes of 80% of the sugar or glucose in our blood. Think about that, 80%. So if you have a lot of skeletal muscle, you're able to get the, for a lack of more complex terms, get the sugar out of the blood and into the muscle. And the muscle can utilize it for energy. But what's going on in our country is we are committing carbocide, carbocide, death by carbohydrates. So what do I mean by that? Well, the average American eats greater than 300 grams of carbohydrates every day, 300, 300. How much carbohydrate do you need to sustain life? Well, probably about 70 grams a day is ideal um, because our brain, our nerves, our blood cells, the, and our kidneys are what we called oblig obligatory, 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 sugar uses, meaning that's their primary source of fuel. For other organs like the heart, it's a different source of fuel. But th for those vital organs, we use sugar or glucose. So 70 grams is about what you need to get things, uh, to keep things running properly. And of course, you can go less than that. And our body has backup mechanisms. So you're not going to die if you eat no carbs. But, you know, on long term, it'll be more difficult. Now, so if I'm telling you we eat 70 gram, we need 70 grams of carbs to maintain function of vital organs, and the average American is eating 300, there's a huge difference there. So we are eating a lot more carbs than we, than we need. So where are we getting these carbs from? The biggest culprits are refined carbs or co and complex carbs. So things like, things we've all grown up on and we have in our household today. So things like lasagna, this Ronzoni lasagna has a total of 328 carbs, 328 carbs in this box of lasagna. How about orzo? Orzo, tiny box of orzo has a total of 336 carbs just in this tiny box. And what about good old matzo ball mix for our Jewish friends with the holidays coming up? This small box of matzo ball mix has 108 carbs. Grams of carbs, I should say. So this, these are loaded with carbs. And these are things people are eating every day. And by the way, this is just, you know, one half of a box of this is one meal. So just one meal, they're getting a ton of carbs. Multiply that by three or more. So the bottom line is um, we are killing ourselves essentially. I'm, I so, I'm sorry to be dramatic. But essentially, we are killing ourselves by carbocide by taking in too many carbs. Um, think of it this way. So we burn about 40 to 60 grams of carbs an hour exercising, right? So if I told you that this small box of orzo, let's say you ate half the box. So it's, what did I say? It was 336. So what is that? That's like, you know, a, um, 100 and whatever, 160 grams of carbs. So let's say 160 grams of carbs and you need to exercise for, to burn off 160 grams of carbs, you need to exercise for four hours. That's crazy. Four hours to burn off half of this box of orzo. So when we eat these types of foods, we really should think about energy expenditure and how much exercise it will take to burn off all these carbs. So just something to think about. Um, one last parting thought, because a lot of people will ask me, Dr. Dave, how many carbs should I take in in the day? Well, the answer is probably in the range of less than 150 to 140 grams of carbs a day. And in fact, when we put people on a lower carbohydrate diet, especially with high cholesterol disorders, in particular high triglycerides, we see a dramatic improvement in their lipid profile, up to 30% reduction in triglycerides when we cut down their carbohydrate intake to less than 140 grams a day. 
All right, everyone. So that's the follow-up on why skeletal muscle is so important and why it's critically important not to commit carbocide. Until next time, this is Dr. Dave.